Hi, my name is Phil. I'm the uh, development chef here at Clover Food Lab, and today we're going to be talking about our margarita pizza for this week's pizza box. So one kind of special ingredient that we've got in this box this week is a fresh mozzarella from Maple Brook Farm in Vermont. Um, this is a really great product. It's made with vegetable rennet, um, super fresh. You may have seen them at farmer's markets in the area. Um, and we're going to use that on a margarita pizza, which is one of only two uh, DOP specified pizzas. Um, this is a, a designation given out by the Italian government. Um, basically, it's, it's like a protected recipe. Um, ours is not strictly adherent to, to those rules. You would need to import, um, you know, everything from, you know, the right canned tomatoes to the right flour to specifically buffalo mozzarella from Italian water buffaloes. Uh, we like to keep things a little bit more local, so we're going to have a local cheese, uh, tomato sauce uh, that we make in-house, and fresh basil from uh, one of our local farms. Great. So after you unwrap your cheese, um, this is going to definitely be more cheese than you need for one pizza. If you have one of our large boxes, it should be just about perfect for two. So for the one pizza, we'll cut that in half. The rest of this you can save and use for salads or put on bruschetta or you know, it's, it's great for snacking. You can make a caprese with it. Um, then we're going to cut that in half and just do these as little half moons. You want to go about maybe a little under a quarter of an inch. There's some quality control. Here, Michelle, you want to try some cheese? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Now that we have our cheese cut, so if you've been watching these videos, you probably know that on uh, a lot of these pizzas, we like to do a little bit of oil first. This isn't included in your box. It's just a tip that we like to let people know about. Um, putting about a tablespoon, tablespoon of a half and a half of oil on here. Um, before your sauce will kind of give you a little bit of crispiness insurance. It helps keep the, uh, keep the sauce from soaking into the crust during baking. Next we're going to go on here with our house marinara sauce. Start with that right in the middle. I always like to tell people that it's uh, better to start with less than you think you need. It's uh, very easy to put more on. It's very hard to take it off. Next, we're going to put our mozzarella on here. All right, next we're gonna bake this at 425 degrees for about 14 to 16 minutes. And uh, then we're gonna finish it with our fresh basil. Three, two, one. All right, when your pizza comes out of the oven, you're gonna to wanna to take your fresh basil and just tear that apart. Throw it right on top of the pizza. There you go, margarita pizza.